big benefit in general about doing research at Oberlin is that there aren't any graduate students or postdocs to compete for your professor's attention. In the beginning of a student's time in my lab, it's definitely a tutor to t type relationship. But as time goes on, the student becomes more and more of an equal partner, and I think of them more as collaborators uh, by the time they've reached uh, some kind of skill level. So it, it, it switches over from the teacher and student uh, relationship to something that is even more uh, rewarding to me. Willie actually just started this summer, uh, so he had no previous uh, background in my group. And so uh, the very first couple weeks of the summer, we worked literally all day long together learning the different, different parts of the project. When I first got into the lab, we learned about all the instruments and there was a lot of troubleshooting. Uh, I think that was a really cool thing he taught me to do was to troubleshoot the instrument. I can ask whatever questions I want. Professor Allard is here eight hours a day, if not more. They'll come in whenever we need them. I didn't know I'd be getting into atmospheric research, but there was an opening. I applied and I got in. I'm very happy I was able to get in. Uh, his project is again related to this isoprene problem, the, the natural compound that, that trees emit. Uh, and you know, his growth over the summer has been quite amazing to see because he did start fresh, unlike some of my other students. And now, I hardly have to be in there. He's so skilled in terms of actually operating the instrument, understanding the problems that, that come up. I kind of have the say on a lot of variables that go into experiments. The general reaction, of course, is what we agreed on to study. And we're studying a lot of variations of that reaction, but in terms of scavenger stuff like that, I'm choosing a lot of those. We joke about how at the beginning of the summer I could show up and fix his problems and now I can't fix them immediately because he knows as much as I do about actually operating the instrument. And so uh, it's, it's really fun to see that kind of uh, development and it makes it easier for me that he's, he's able to do a lot of the work himself without direct interaction with me. And so now we mainly talk about the great results that he's been generating uh, as opposed to having to actually teach him how to operate the instrument. Chemistry is the central science. You can't do any science without the science of matter and the changes it undergoes. So if you want to do biology, you're going to have to do some measure of chemistry. If you want to do some physics, you're going to have to have some measure of chemistry. Even neuroscience, you need chemistry for it. So I do think that chemistry itself as a field has expanded my horizons. It really was just the basics I learned in high school. I'm learning so much here at Oberlin, and I'm really enjoying the summer research and regular research I'm doing here. Before I got into his lab, I was looking into something in grad school of chemistry or grad school of medicine. And so, just after doing this research, I'm much more inclined to go into something in chemistry. I'm always hoping for students to, to be able to stay in my lab for a long period of time. I make a big commitment to their training, and they're all I've got, and so I focus everything I've got on, on the, their training and their development of scientists. I would recommend anyone to do summer research here at Oberlin. If you just love chemistry and you want to get into it and you're a cinema studies major, you should apply. It's a lot better than a lot of other things you could be doing during your summer. These students really act as, as my own mini atmospheric chemistry community here at Oberlin.